Hey guys, I have to leave my glasses on. Hey, welcome to hanging out with Lori. I'm Lori, I'm a little punchy, but that's okay. How are you today? I am good, I am good. You guys, this is a seriously overdue update of panning games. This project was started by Amber and is being hosted by the Fantastic Ladies. It started back on August 1st of last year and finishes on August 1st of this year. I started a month late but my last update, I think, was in March, guys. March. Maybe even February. I am that overdue. And I thought I had already filmed this. So items that I finished since last, last update, I threw away. But I've looked everywhere for a video. I swear I filmed this. But Nevertheless, for those of you that don't know, Panning Games is based on the Hunger Games. We had to randomly pick really quickly 24 items that represented the tributes, and then we worked on them for the f throughout the year. As of last update, I had one, two, three, four, five, six items done. Um, so that meant I had how many left? 18. And I finished three in March. And I don't have the bottles to sh or the items to show you and I apologize for that. I wish I knew what had happened. First one I finished, I actually had two small bottles of, and that was the Amazing Grace Body Emulsion. Um, it's like a body lotion that smells like the fragrance Amazing Grace. I finished that on March 20th. I had a lip balm, my Skin Fix Minty Mint Lip Balm. I finished that on March 3rd, and that might have been discussed in my last... Um, update. I don't know, so I'm just um, revisiting it. And then I finished my deluxe size um, sample of the Hourglass Primer, which I dearly loved, but it is too darn expensive for me to buy. And I finished that on March 15th. So that is 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 minus 24. How many do I have left? I don't know. <laughs> 18, 17. I have 15 items left, I think. I'm terrible at math, guys, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So let's go over what I have left. Everything I have left is in this handy dandy bag. I'm just going to grab them and talk to you about them. Okay, so the first one I grabbed actually has two. Two of them, kind of like the Amazing Grace Body Emulsion did, and that's my Simple Hydrating Gel Cream. I did finish one back in January, and I still have this one. I have used it a couple times, I, yeah, and it looks like it's about right there now. So I still have a little bit, but you know, if I just set it and use it right after my shower, I should get this done, you know, in less than a week if I just concentrate on it. The next one is my Maybelline City Mini Palette. I love this palette. It was actually voted my favorite palette of last year. Um, from last update, I did have this in a weekly product pan and made, excuse me, made some significant work on this shade here that was in the pan that was in the project but I have other dips going on but I do not have pan and I should have pan on every single shade in here so but I will be honest I totally forget about this eyeshadow palette because I'm focusing so much on my pan that palette and so I need to really um hone in on this in the next couple of months and just crank out as much as I can um, before August 1st. I love this palette. It is great. So I just need to work on it. Need to work on it. The next one I totally forgot was in this project. 
It's my Neo Strata Illuminating Serum. Now I quit using this during the winter because it was burning the heck out of my skin. I said I'd pick it up in the spring, totally forgot about it. So I need to pick it back up. I have no clue where it is. You can't see in there to see how much product is in there. So it's already mid-June, so I have a month and a half to get this done. I don't know if I can, but I need to at least try. I can't believe I totally forgot it was in there. Okay, the next item is my Lipstick Queen Frog Prince Lip Gloss. When I hold it upside down, you can almost see where it is. It's about right here, um, right at the T on Lipstick Queen. Um, so that's still quite a bit of product. I like this. So if I don't finish it, I'm okay with it. But this was brand new when I brought it in. And I'm okay if I finish it as well. But I do use it um, quite a bit because it just changes with your, your lipstick. It's awesome. Okay, the next one is this Rimmel London Stay Matte. And it's in the shade Blush. That is it right there. Um, I, I can't tell where I'm at in here, but I know it's getting low. It's just, I don't know. I can't tell. I mean, when you swirl it around, of course, you can see the sides. But there's a lot of product left in there still. And so, yeah. Okay, the next one is a lotion. It's a la maison's fig and basil. I've been using this quite a bit um, after my showers. And so I'm probably about, I don't know. But you can't really tell. Um, yeah, because if I squeeze, stuff comes out. So I can't really fold it over. But I, it feels like, you know, from the coolness, it feels like it's about right there. So I need to really hustle my bustle on my fig and basil and get this done. Okay, the next one um, is by BH Cosmetics. It's my Endora. I thought it was rose, but it's not. Now this one is getting dry. Um, in fact, it's a booger to wear. That's probably why I wear blush more. That is it right there. I will not finish this. I mean, you can't even see the sides when I swirl it around. So this won't be finished. Now, the lip product that I think I can get done by August is my Lipsticks Queen Hello Sailor Lip Gloss. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you can see all the way through it, and I am about right here on it. Um, there's not a lot of product. I have to work pretty hard to get product out whenever I use it. Um, can you guys see that? So, if I take out the stopper, that means I'm taking it out all the way down here and I'm afraid it'll break the plastic. So I don't think I'm gonna do that, although that is an option, but I really like it. I'm gonna use it until I can't get any more product out, but I did try to use it today and I had to put on multiple layers to get enough product out. So it is getting down there. I've lost my sheet that I measured everything with I don't know where it's at, so I have to just go with it. This is my Nude Sticks Taupe Cream Eyeshadow. When I got brought this in, it was basically brand new, and now we're down to there. So I think I've made great progress. Do I think I can get it to a nubbin where I, you know, can't sharpen it anymore by August? I don't Maybe if I just concentrate on it really hard, maybe I can. We'll see. Maybe I just need to focus harder. Okay, this is my Seraphine Botanicals Lychee and Gold. I didn't work on this, or you guys didn't get to see it for months because it shattered. Then I took it to... I repressed it. I took it to Hawaii and it shattered again, so I had to repress it. So 
there is a little bit of pan in there for my second repressing. I have been using this pretty faithfully. I um, love this blush, although, um, you know, it doesn't... I just put it over all that lipstick. Um, it, it doesn't have quite that healthy flush it once had when you put it on, so... I'd like to get it used up and out of here because while I really like that blush, it's just not the same after after two repressings. We have Juliet by Luna Cosmetics. You guys, this is what it looks like. Almost like it did the day I brought it in. It um, is a beautiful, beautiful shimmery pink. I totally forget to use this all the time. I have probably used it no more than 10 times since I brought it into this project. I just don't remember to use it and I don't know how to remember. I've thought about um, depotting it and putting it in with the, my other singles that I have in projects. I just don't know. If you have any thoughts and ideas, leave it in the comments below. Now this is my Makeup Forever um, Deluxe Size Bullet Lipstick in the shade C211. I melted it down with my L'Occitane Shea Butter. I had put it into chapstick tubes and then found it was just easier to use it out of here because I still had to use my finger to put this on. So That is what I do. The lipstick broke, so that's why I melted it down. I do use it, but it's not gonna be done by August since I added it in with the Shea Butter. Um, but that's okay, I think it's pretty. Like, just putting that tiny, tiny, tiny bit on made my lips just look a little healthy. I have a highlighter in here that I lost for a few months, and that's my Becca Champagne Pop. Um, this is what it looks like. I've had pan on it for for a while, and that pan just keeps growing. Um, there's no way I'm going to finish it by August, but I like that the pan just keeps growing, that I'm using it enough to um, see progress on that pan. Now, this one makes me really happy. It's not done, but I think it will be, and that's my Jante Blue Eyeliner in Dark Brown. This was brand new. I don't even think I'd used it once. And I struggled with this for a long time. The payoff is horrible on this um, pencil. But I have found um, ways to use it. And so that is where I'm at. I think I can get it down close. If I can't get it down to a nubbin, it will be very close. So I'm really excited about this Jante Blue um, eyeliner because that one had me worried. Now I've been concentrating on this bullet lipstick a lot um, in the past month and that is my Kat Von D Double Dare um, deluxe size bullet. Now that's what I have. That is a lot of lipstick but I have been wearing this in most looks that I have unless I had that, like that lipstick in my weekly product pan, but I have been wearing this a lot. Do I think I can get through all of that in a month? Oh, hello. Are you going to focus? Probably not, but I am going to do my darndest people. So that is my highly overdue panning games. I have not finished anything since March, but I'm marching forward still just working on all these items trying to get as much done with them as possible you guys take good care of yourself be safe and i will see you on the next one